So let's go to the listening session. What we're going to start off with is a selection from one of the Yarlung tapes of Pendrecki's String Trio, the first movement. I thought this was a really great test to show off the amp strengths because, again, it's strings. If a solid state amp is going to sound bad, it's going to sound bad on strings. So again, this is a great piece done a little bit after 1990 by Pendrecki in what they kind of consider his almost neo-romantic period. And also, you should just focus in a little bit on the interplay, actually the great interplay between each of the three players here and the wonderful sound of their instruments. time to digest that sound, I hope that you'll agree with me that that's probably some of the most unsolid statish sound that you've ever heard and probably might also dispel some of your notions that magicos are analytical and thin sounding. But I think the greatest thing you could hear there is really how spot on the tonality was, was of the violins and the string instruments. You could hear the bass and you could hear resonances going on there. So again, it's really just an outstanding control of that whole music. There was a rhythm, a pace to the music, and it just really all held together. So the next selection that I've chosen to show off this amplifier is a longtime resident of the late Harry Pearson's reference recording list. It was there on about issue eight of the Absolute Sound, and for some reason it fell off Harry's list, but it never fell off my reference list. And I use this quite often. I think I have two backup copies of this when I found them on ePay to pay for. 
and it's Amaniah's Summer Prayer. And what it really does more than anything else is going to show off the dynamic capabilities, how this amp's going to hang together. It's going to go from macro to micro and back again. So out of the softest passages, it's just going to go full blast. So it's a great test record. And you can even see on the insert that they put in, I think this probably goes back to the late 70s, early 80s, you can see pictures of some of the waveforms in here. And again, it's a test for every part of the system, from the cartridge, the arm, the turntable, all the way to the amplifier. So it's a real system buster, and if your system isn't up to it, this record's going to definitely show it up. That was just a good example of what this amplifier can really deliver. I'm sure that you're able to, even through the internet, to hear some of that dynamic range on this recording. And especially, I hope you're able to get some of the little intricacies, all the little subtle instruments that are popping in and out on the recording that this amplifier is able to do at the same time. So it really doesn't unravel when it's being faced with really dynamic passages. So we're going to finish up today with a really great release from ORG Music, Ying Tan and Groove Note, 30 IPS recording done at Oceanway Studios, mastered by Bernie Grunman, as Bernie does all the work for Ying. 
And again, anyone who hasn't heard of ORG Music, I definitely recommend you check them out. They're doing a great job. The recordings sound wonderful, lots of good jazz and pop stuff. So again, we're going to finish with this pop recording of Vanessa Fernandez doing the Curtis Mayfield song, Here But I'm Gone. And I hope everybody's going to really enjoy this, but it should sound really great on the system. I'm gone. 
did everybody out there like that Vanessa Fernandez cut? I know I sure did. That was really great sound. And you really could hear how punchy that album was, that cut was. And you could hear, really, the biggest thing was her voice. And really, it's hard to believe it's Again, I know the reviews about this amplifier, but that $1,400 cartridge really did a wonderful job. You could just hear every note from her voice. It was just really cleanly articulated. And it really came through on that amp. That mid-range was just so spot on. You could almost reach out and feel she was there in the room. So that's really kind of wraps it up for the listening session. And now we're just going to move on to our few comments and wrap up of the sound of the amp and then this description of all the equipment that we've been using today.